Hello, my name is Taylor Ross. I'm an Eximetry Ambassador and the owner of Frustum Virtual in Los Angeles, California. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you some of the project settings that have changed from Unreal Engine 5.3 to Unreal Engine 5.4. First thing we're going to do is open our Unreal Editor for Eximetry 2024.3.0. This version of Unreal Editor for Eximetry has support for 5.4.3. First thing we'll see is our Unreal Project Browser. I'm going to select Browse in the lower right hand corner. I'm going to navigate to the project that I'd like to open. I'm going to find the project file name. Mine's called Living Room Set 04. I'm going to go ahead and select Open. Once I select Open, it's going to prompt me to convert the project. I'll just select Open a Copy. This will open a copy of the project so that I don't do anything destructive to the original project file. Once our project opens, I'm going to navigate to Edit. Project Settings. In the search bar at the top, I'm going to search for Stencil. In the 5.4 version of Unreal Editor for Eximetry, you can use Enabled, Enabled On Demand, or Enabled With Stencil. I'll quickly open the documentation to show you this. In previous versions of Unreal Engine, you just set this to Enabled With Stencil, but in the 5.4 version, you can now set it to Enabled, Enabled On Demand, or Enabled With Stencil. For this tutorial, I'm going to leave mine set to Enabled with Stencil. The next new setting that we need to change is Custom Depth with Temporal AA Jitter must be turned off. Back in our search bar, I'm going to search for Temporal AA. Look for Custom Depth with Temporal AA Jitter. We're going to turn this off. For the final new setting in Unreal Engine 5.4, select the objects that will be in front of the billboard. In the Details panel, go to Rendering, Advanced, and set Render Custom Depth Pass to on. So basically in Unreal Engine 5.4, all of the static meshes that will be in front of our billboard need to have this setting turned on in the details panel. To showcase this, I'll navigate to the Eximetry tab at the top, add camera. I'll add the green camera virtual plus tracked. Once the camera is added, I will go ahead and cook this project. Navigate back to the Eximetry tab and select cook content for Eximetry DE. Now that the project's cooked, I'll go ahead and save the project and minimize it. Now I'll go ahead and launch my Eximetry DE Composer. This is 2024.3. I'll go ahead and select Start. I need to create a new compound, so I'll select the New tab at the top and select Compound or Control N on the keyboard. Now I'll navigate to Common Studio, Camera, this is the Mixed Cam Unreal. We're going to drag Mixed Cam Unreal 3x3 into our compound. Now that my Mixed Cam Unreal 3x3 cam is added to my compound, I need to add the project. Open the file browser and navigate to the location of the project that we just cooked. My project is called Living Room Set 04 with a 5.4 at the end. I'll find my Unreal Engine project and drag it directly into my compound. Now we need to connect all of our pins. I'm going to be moving through this process very quickly because I just want to showcase the new settings in 5.4. If you need help setting up your Eximetry DE Composer for the first time, we have videos on our YouTube channel for every type of camera and every type of compound. This video is mainly to highlight the different project settings that will need to be enabled in Unreal Engine in order for your scene to run properly. The rest of the processes that I'm doing right now are covered in other tutorials on our YouTube channel. In the interest of time, I'm just going to jump ahead a bit so that I can showcase the Render Custom Depth Pass setting. Right now in my Unreal Engine scene, I didn't turn on Render Custom Depth Pass for any of the static meshes of this scene. In previous versions of Unreal Editor for Eximetry and Eximetry DE Composer, all of our 3D meshes would already interact with the billboard properly. So you can see this stack of books. If I try and move my billboard behind this stack of books without this setting turned on, You'll see that the billboard is placed in front of the static mesh. This is because we need to turn on the Render Custom Depth Path setting in the details of our static mesh. I'll navigate back to my Unreal Engine project. I'll find the stack of books that we've been looking at in Eximetry DE Composer. With our static mesh selected in the Details panel, I'll search for Custom Depth. You should see a setting called Render Custom Depth Pass. We need to turn this on. I will also select the candle that's placed on top of the books, turn on Render Custom Depth Pass, and I'll select the floor, turn on Render Custom Depth Pass. Basically anything that we want our billboard to interact with, we need to turn on Render Custom Depth Pass. 
Now I'll navigate back to the Xymmetry tab and select Cook Content for Xymmetry DE. Now I can navigate back to my Xymmetry project. You can see now in my preview here that when I move my billboard behind this stack of books, the stack of books is placed in front of the billboard the way that it should be. The rest of the process should be exactly the same as previous versions of Unreal Engine and Xymmetry DE Composer. If you're looking for more detailed tutorials on how to set up Xymmetry DE Composer or your Unreal Editor for Xymmetry, be sure to check out the other videos on our channel. The purpose of this video was just to show you some of the new project settings that you'll have to change in Unreal Engine 5.4. The render custom depth path setting in Unreal Engine was something that I was unaware of. So I just wanted to make a quick video in case this is something you're also struggling with when you upgrade to Unreal Engine 5.4. Hopefully this video was helpful in explaining some of the project settings that you'll need to enable when you upgrade to Unreal Engine 5.4. The documentation will be in the description of this video. Be sure to like and subscribe for more videos and thanks for watching.